Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Skegness at Butlins. Now I've been coming to this place for years. I absolutely love it, but I haven't been here for a few years and it looks a lot different to what I remember. In fact, it badly needs a little bit of TLC in places and especially a paint job in a lot of places. I've got a day pass, so that allows me to go swimming. It allows me to go into the fun fair and also into the Skyline Pavilion and also walk around the park and check it out. So do comment below if you've been to Butlins, Skegness or actually what is your favourite Butlins and let's do the tour. I'm really surprised. Look at this. I mean, this is not overly that great when you turn up on holiday, is it? It's like what looks like mould and splatters all over the door. He's mental, the buttons. What's going on? How amazing is that? So here we go, into Butlins. We actually get to go under the road in a very safe way. So obviously this entrance is completely different to the, uh, the main entrance that you come into if you're staying here, but coming in on as a day visit, this is the entrance that you come into. We'll make our way around the park. And what greets us is the Skyline Pavilion. We'll go in there in just a moment. We're going to check out the outside of the park first. So here I am right at the entrance to the park. You can just see the entrance behind me as you come in. Big sandcastle there. There's some work going on here. Not quite sure what's going to be happening over there. If, uh, if you know, tell us in the comments. So going to have a walk around the park. Like I say, I'm not staying here because I'm on a day pass but we will look at some of the accommodation a little bit closer uh, later on in the video. We'll try and find a park map. That'd be a good idea. So the Skyline Pavilion is on my left that way. So the water park is up there as well. This way to the fairground. They have palm trees in Skegness. So there's stuff in there for the kids to do. The Discovery Studio, where you can do like pottery, painting. Looks actually really good. Have a quick nose into the arcade. Now compared to a lot of arcades on holiday parks, they're always quite dark, aren't they? With lots of flashy lights. But this particular arcade is, uh, is very airy. Dare I say, it actually lacks a little bit of atmosphere in here. Or is this just temporary? I don't know. I'll show you around some of the accommodation a little bit. We go into the fairground. There's like a little mini fairground here for the kids, little stars it's called. So for my little boy, these are the kind of rides, his first rides that he can go on. There's also some little mini cars. So the fun fair here at Skegness is right at the back end of the car park. And compared to Bogner, where it's kind of like in the middle of the park. This feels like it's just shoved right at the end and it's not overly that well themed. Got the gallopers here, the carousel. It's got no roof on it. What's going on? You're never too old to get on. Ugh. It's really strange, there's no roof on it. say you just see the car park doesn't really look that great and the road so the rides here are a little bit well basic but lacking signage you know a little bit of color a bit of sign work a few more lights would help I mean like you know if you've ever been on the waltzers they have loads of flashy lights on this they've just got bog standard lights just sticking in it go-kart track now I'm assuming this is an extra fee I'll find that in a minute I used to love these as a kid Everything seems a little bit dated. 
if I'm being honest at the minute, especially at the fun fair. Can't go wrong with the dodgems, but wow. Okay, now these dodgems, they are old. Bird poo all over them as well. Wouldn't want to sit in any of those. I'll take it these ones are not really being used. Yeah, they don't look good, do they? So I know they're not being used, but Sorry. you would have thought that I'd moved them out of the way. I don't know how old this is, but at least this has got some lights on it and signage and stuff like that. So the go-karts has got quite a queue going on. So the go-karts are £7 extra if you want to go on them. I might give that a miss actually. I feel a little bit let down with this fun fair compared to the one at Bognor. I'm comparing it to Bognor because obviously at the moment this seems to be the best rated Butlins in the UK out of, uh, out of three of them. And this ride is not open either, which is a little bit of a shame. So something exciting is coming here. It's just around the corner. I wonder what they are building here. I can't say um, I know what they're building. I'm sure you might do. Let me know in the comments. Do tell us. Like, look at the speakers. They look so old and rusty. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that you pay all this money to come to Butlins and then you have to pay extra to go on the go-karts and seven quid especially if you've got quite a few children it's quite a lot of money <laughs> i thought that was a bus stop smoking area let's check out some of the accommodation that you can get here at butlins now there's no hotels on this particular site they're all segregated into all these different names so this is starfish key and within that you've got fairground apartments and you've got lobster court dolphin court although you know what there could be some painting needed around these i mean like look at that paint's coming off pretty much everywhere yes they're not falling down but um a paint job is is definitely needed isn't it hey at least they cut the grass i've been to some holiday parks where they don't even do that i say it's not falling down but wow look at that wow i mean surely that doesn't cost much Yeah, wow. Come on, Butlins, sort the paint out. Even the ceilings look really grubby. I like how they're all connected though, so you don't have to go up and down the stairs. Oh dear, this is looking really old and really grubby. I'm really surprised, look at this. I mean, this is not overly that great when you turn up on holiday, is it? With like, what looks like mold and splatters all over the door and just general dirt. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but you can literally see all the paint coming off everywhere. I know it's only a small thing, but you know, it doesn't overly look that nice, does it? when you turn up on holiday. So I'm in the middle of this court area and there's like a hopscotch for kids. Do kids nowadays play hopscotch? I think that is what it is. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it is literally everywhere you look. It's looking really old. Look at the paint. Anyway, we'll check out the other part of the accommodation, see if that looks just as bad. It can't do, surely. Look at it. Literally, I could rub my hand on there and that would flake off completely. That is mental. For butlins. What's going on? Just like what they used to have at the airport. You don't see these anymore, really, at the airport. These are a little bit rusty as well. They don't look like they've been used in a while, do they? Ah, oh, this is a snooker hall. So the Skyline Pavilion is up there. We'll get there in a moment. There's the supermarket. First, let's have a look around the Anchor Drive. Now, I've actually stayed in these 
apartments before and they uh, weren't overly the best. I mean, look at that. You've got a massive crack in your wall. This is the, uh, obviously the cheaper accommodation which you can stay in, but yeah, it's not overly that great, is it? I can't remember which one I stayed in, but look, it looks like there's damp. Damp on the wall, cracks, I don't know. And of course they offer a range of accommodation at Butlins from cheaper to more expensive, but you know, I can't say this is overly that nice, is it? Almost gives me a, a bit of a, <laughs> a Pontins vibe. Look at that one on there. That's really bad. Nice beer can on the floor. Imagine turning up on holiday and this is your room. Looks like people's suitcases have gone into the wall there. Wow. That doesn't look very good, does it? People leave their stools outside. Anyway, we'll move on to see if the accommodation gets any better, which I'm sure it does. we just got to find it. Just thought I'd show you this as well. If you've been coming to Butlins for any amount of years, you'll remember the monorail. The original part of it is still here, look. Look at that. Piece of Butlins history here. You can get in it. What does it say on the floor? Our true intent is all for your delight. Last time I came here was about 10 years ago and I remember going into this venue and it's really dirty. I hope it's changed since then. It looked really dated and old in there. Let us know in the comments your thoughts though. <laughs> this is good. Gives you a bit of a 3D Instagram pose. What do you think? So there's a, there's a few restaurants to choose. There's the Coast Restaurant and the Coral Beach Restaurant, which are pretty big as well. And obviously if you're going half board or whatever, you can choose that too. So there's loads of places to eat. So this way we get to more accommodation, the beach and aerial adventures. Let's have a, a walk down here. Climbing wall, obviously. Not quite sure what that is. That looks pretty good. Need a head for heights. There's also a, uh, you can see that's a crazy golf just over there as well. This looks good. Now what is great about Bunnings in Skegness is that you've got direct access to the beach as well. We're going to check out what the beach is like, shall we? Beach volleyball. Look at that. Well, that looks like it's set up more for football than volleyball, to be honest. I'm going crazy. Can't say I've ever been a big fan of archery, but if you wanted to try it, I did try it once and it really uh, hurt my arm. You're supposed to do it properly. I'm sure that'll teach you how to do it. It's a shame it's not overly that sunny today, otherwise it would be a perfect beach day. But it is pretty warm. Now one thing that is pretty cool is these massive deck chairs and beach balls over here. It's called the Big Beach Photo Garden. Check this out, it's massive. There's like big sand castles, and buckets. It's obviously a rubber ring. Biggest deck chair ever. Flip flops, there's a book, there's a tower beach ball. And look at that parasol, that is huge. Anyone for a Coke? Bit rough around the edges to say the least. So what have you got on the beach? Obviously you could walk to uh, Skegness or maybe Fantasy Island up there. These are not normally here. Obviously you can hide deck chairs and stuff like that. The beach is massive though. Don't think this is working, There's nothing in it. Wonder what the Leisure Hub was all about. Guess we'll never know, because it's closed every day. Love adventure golf. I love when it's themed well, but you have to pay extra. How much is it? Five pound extra for crazy golf. It does look pretty good though. 
So let's head into the Skyline Pavilion. This place is absolutely humongous inside. Obviously you've got places to eat. You've got centre stage just here. I wonder how many people miss that as you walk in. The whole red coat magic thing. But huge. So obviously they've just finished the show. But uh, just wanted to show you in here. Again, this place is absolutely massive. I've seen some pretty good shows in here, and as always, London's Entertainment is totally amazing. I've got to keep talking, obviously, because of the music. Pretty cool staging and lights. It's all glittery there, can you see that? So they're just cleaning up after the latest show, ready for the next one. Can we go up to the Sky Bar just to have a quick look? It's quite funny how uh, sticky the floor is. I don't know if it's like that all the time. It's like really sticky. So there's a bar up here. I don't know whether you have to pay extra to come up here. Look at that. Now that is a view. And it goes all the way around. But yeah, this is where you want to sit when there's a good show going on. <laughs> Just here. So I heard that um, they're getting these skyline pavilions redone or taken down. Let me know in the comments because they are really grubby when you look up. But I guess you don't look up. That's the thing with these tents, they're obviously going to get a little bit grimy after a while. Another huge stage. Again, there's stuff going on all at different times. They've got a Costa Coffee in here. I do like the theming though of the bar, it's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool bar, this is called the Jellyfish Lounge. My son's a little bit too young to experience this yet, but uh, no doubt this is where I'll be spending a lot of my time in the future. Live cooking stations in here. This is pretty epic. So there's some amusements on the right hand side, it's pretty big. Look at this though. For sweets. There's a secret entrance for little kids, look. And it says no adults, max headroom. Haha, <laughs> that's so cool. See, there's literally everything in here. There's bowling. There's not many bowling places that have a glitter ball right in the middle of the bowling alley. How amazing is that? Shame it's not going around. Little tiny stage in here. We can get a drink. Why others go bowling. The telly's are huge though if you want to catch up on sport, which is good. This is pretty cool. Obviously the Transformers come out here and grab a photo with them. So that's the Skyline Pavilion we leave behind and we head outside. Obviously I can't film in the swimming pool but uh, it's just there. So just outside of the swimming pool with the epic slides. It's a shame I can't film in there because that is pretty good. You've got these water fountains and all these sun lounges. So the accommodation gets a lot better up here. Last time I was here was, I don't know, about a good few years ago. The accommodation just further up there where they were just building. But here's all the apartments for Lagoon Bay. Let's have a quick nose, see what they're like. And I guess it all depends on your budget. I am noticing a trend here. Paintwork really needs badly to be done. Is this where you go into the accommodation? This random door here. Oh yeah. You do. I thought this was like a, a fire exit or something, but uh, no. I say you get into these apartments. 
This looks very Caribbean up here with the roof. Now, if you're looking at these and thinking, blimey, I'm glad I'm not staying there. This is the, uh, the staff accommodation. It doesn't look the best from here, does it? And if you're a fan of the old fashioned butlins, you could uh, have a nose around here. This is the staff quarters though, but the old fashioned chalets are here, look at that. God, the vending machines look a bit grubby, don't they? So I would say this is the more expensive apartments up here. And these are really posh and uh, very nice. There's a variety of different options when you're wanting to stay from fairly cheap to a little bit more expensive. These look really nice though, don't they? Remind me of American houses. Although, who wants to stay in number 13? So this area is called the Keys, but it is starting to show its age though. As everything does, obviously, with the, uh, the UK weather. Although even though this is the nicer part, the paint is still coming off a little bit everywhere. Now obviously this is a massive park, so keeping things clean and just like the upkeep of the paint, but like all the paint is on the floor, dried up. But even though this is some of the newer accommodation, still problems with the paint. And on the doors. And there's this random lake here. Never seen this before. To be honest, it's not too difficult to get lost because everything is basically in a long rectangle going down towards the fun fair. There isn't too many maps around the park apart from the very smaller maps which just show you in which apartment blocks you're in at the minute. There's even a duck that's decided to come on the site as well. You got a wristband? So this is Studio 36, you'll see a lot of big acts who perform in here. So I'll let you make your mind up. If you love coming here, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see my favorite Butlins, which is actually in Bogner, click the video here, give the video a thumbs up, comment below which is your favorite Butlins. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.